In this video, I'm going to answer the question, can you print images captured from a drone? So can you print images that you captured using a drone? Well, of course you can. You can make a print from an image captured from just about any camera. The question here is, should you? Is the sufficient detail, is the quality good enough that you get from a drone sufficient enough reason to print it? Are you going to end up with a decent print? That's the question that I'm going to answer in this video. So why am I even asking this question? Well, I recently posted up a video um, showing how I captured a panoramic image of Loch Etiv using my DJI Mavic Pro. I'll put a link to that video up in the screen. Now, while the image looked really good on screen, a few people asked me, how did it look when you printed it off? Was it decent enough quality? Was a sufficient resolution to make a print? And it got me thinking, I don't think I've ever printed an image that I'd taken with my drone. So I thought, well, now's the time to do it. Let's um, print off this panoramic image and have a look and share the results. Now I would have no problem printing an image that I captured with my D850, which is what I'm shooting this video on just now. But this is a DJI Mavic Pro. The sensor in this is considerably smaller, but it still does capture 12 megapixel stills and it can output in RAW, it will give me a nice DNG file. So in the video that um, you've hopefully watched, you've seen how I captured that panoramic image. Basically, I put the drone in the air, I put the camera in vertical orientation, and then I took a series of nine images, panning round the scene, and then when I got back, I imported those into Lightroom, used the merge to panorama feature within Lightroom, and then processed the image. Now, if you want to know how I typically process my images, I will put a link up in the, one of the corners of the screen just now. But I need to say, for this image, it only really required a light touch. So there was a lot of detail there in that raw file um, and I didn't have much problems bringing out all that good detail. Now, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the image up on the screen so you can have a closer look at it. So there's the image you're going to print. What I didn't say earlier was then the resulting image after I cropped it all was about 24 megapixels. So there should be plenty of resolution um, there to make a good print. So I'm not going to talk a lot about my printing process. I've already done a couple of videos for that. Again, I'll pop some links up in the screen above so you can check out that. But what I am doing today is I'm going to try a new paper type. So I've got a selection of photo speed papers. I've got a variety of their, their test packs. So I'm gonna take another one from the photo speed panoramic test pack here. And today I am going to use Smooth Cotton 300. So this looks like a really interesting paper. Like I say, I've not used it before, so I'm really interested to see how the results are gonna be. But so I've got the image, got the paper selected. Let's make a print. For me, the printing process is a really exciting part of the photography experience. Watching that panoramic image there get fed out the printer as it's printed is really exciting. It's really cool to see one of the images that you've created come to life um, and something you can hold and pick up and look at. Um, as for the paper, the Smooth Cotton 300, it looks really nice in that paper. I like the thickness and the weight and the, and the quality of the paper. I think the image looks really good in it. So I think I'll be using that paper again. As for the print detail, well, it's all there. There's plenty to look at. So I can have a look at some of the detail in and around the quarry there by the lock side. I can see the um, cottage down by the lock side as well. And then moving along to the quay, I can see the boat and I can even see a, a car on the road as well. And even further back in the image towards the mountains, there's still plenty of detail there. So in terms of have I created a, a satisfactory print? Absolutely, it's something really nice to look at and there's plenty of detail there. Now obviously I've shown you some close-ups there of that print, um, but you wouldn't normally look at um, a print that close up. So what I've done is I'm gonna pop up a video clip in a second. And in this video clip, I've put the camera about one to 1.2 meters away from the print, which is a, a typical viewing distance for a print that size. 
and I've got the lens set at 35mm so it should give you an idea of, of roughly what it would look like um, and it looks very good you would you would never have known it was shot in a drone but equally you can still go up close to the image and you can still see plenty of detail. Now is it going to replace um, a high quality image capture with my D850? Of course not but the one thing my D850 doesn't have is wings so I would never have been able to capture this aerial panoramic with the D850 so when it comes to having the, the, the drone there, I can capture some really unique images, but I can still create and, and make print, printed images that still are of a sufficient and good enough quality to make me happy. So to answer my original question, can you print images captured from a drone? Well, the simple answer is yes, of course you can. There is more than enough detail in those images captured in the drone to make a good print. The key things, as they are with all types of photography, is having a good composition and a good light that will always help you make a much better image. So I'm getting some nice 12 megapixel RAW files from that DJI Mavic Pro and it's giving me plenty of detail, plenty uh, of information there to work from, process an image and then to create a print. I wouldn't have any problems in the future printing an image that I captured with a drone. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, please do hit that like button and of course, leave me a comment. I do try and read and reply to everyone's comments. And if you did like this video and you maybe want to see more, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, remember to click on that little bell icon as well. That way you'll receive a notification as soon as I post up a new video. But until the next one, I'll see you then.